Welcome to the video guide of the Flashy Science Properties of Waves experiment. On the screen is a ripple tank that contains 10 centimeters of water and includes an actuator for making ripples on the liquid surface, a strobe light and a projection screen which will display a times two magnified view of the liquid surface. You can also see a frequency controller, a light bulb icon and a poster of parts of the solar system. Turn on the frequency controller and adjust the dial by clicking and dragging it to choose a wave frequency. This also adjusts the strobe light frequency to make the waves appear to be static even though they're moving across the water surface. Now click the light bulb icon to turn out the lab lights and view the strobe lit waves more clearly. A new measurement icon has appeared in the top right of the screen. This allows measurements to be made of a photographic image of the projection screen. Click the icon to move to the measurement screen. You'll now see a static image of the waves and a ruler with a scale in millimetres. Click and drag the ruler to align the scale to the centre line of the image and so that the ruler's left hand edge is aligned to a bright peak. You can then measure the distance between successive bright peaks, although it's usually more accurate to measure the distance across several peaks and divide the measurement by the number of waves. For example, here the distance of 10 waves is measured as 92 millimetres. This means the measurement of a single wave is 9.2 millimetres. But remember to divide this by 2 due to the magnification of the image on the projection screen. Click on the measurement icon again to return to the main screen. The frequency can be adjusted to allow for more wavelength measurements. The experiment allows you to investigate the effects of changing the liquid too. Turn on the lab light and turn off the frequency controller. Then click on the ripple tank tray to see the liquid select screen. You can choose between four liquids, pure water, salt water, glycerin and sunflower oil. Click on the flask of the liquid you'd like to use, for instance, sunflower oil, and drag it to above the tray. It will change to be ready to pour and a zoomed view of the depth scale will appear. Click on the flask again to start pouring and once more to stop once you've reached your desired depth of liquid, which is shown on the depth scale. You can click on the empty tank flask to start again at any point. Now, I'm going to repeat the fill with sunflower oil again, this time to approximately a six millimeter depth. When you're finished, click on the green and white tick icon to return to the main screen and you'll see that the new liquid is in the ripple tank. You can now turn on the frequency controller and turn out the lab light to view the waves as before. You can even investigate the effect of different gravitational strengths on surface waves on liquids by traveling the solar system. With the lab light on and the frequency controller off, you can click on any of the locations on the solar system poster and you're immediately transported to the surface of that object. The experiment starts on Earth, but you can visit the Moon, Saturn, Jupiter, Mars or the Sun. Once you're ready to measure waves, you just turn off the lab light, turn on the frequency controller once more. The experiment also has additional functionality that you can access via this icon in the top left of the screen. This opens a menu with five more icons. The first icon simply closes the menu again. The second icon returns you to the experiment when you're on a question screen. We'll come to those shortly. The third is the click information icon. Clicking this will select all of the areas on the screen that can be clicked to control the experiment. The fourth icon opens a screen of questions directly related to the experiment you might have just performed. The final icon opens revision questions that cover the area of properties of waves more generally. We hope you enjoy using this flashy science experiment.